Two men sentenced to 16 months in jail for animal cruelty. Fallout from yesterday's pro-democracy rally. And passengers on stranded South Pole ship finally rescued. Good evening. Two men have been jailed for 16 months each for a brutal attack on a stray cat. The feline had to be put down as a result. The magistrate says the heavy sentence will serve as a deterrent against such crimes. Two of the defendants will be spending 16 months in prison for horrific acts committed against a stray cat at the Shuntin estate in November 2012. Another woman will be sentenced later. Earlier, the court had heard how the trio had kicked the cat around like a football, while others stood by and laughed. Due to the severity of the injuries, the stray cat had to be euthanized one day later. In sentencing, Deputy Magistrate Kenny Stai noted the cat did not pose any threat to the defendant and that they had attacked it for their own enjoyment. Tai pointed out that they had failed to notice the indescribable suffering they were inflicting. The magistrate said the sentences served as a deterrent to prevent such disgusting and shameful acts from happening again. So Park Lam, who suffers from health problems due to drug abuse, and Yeung Kyu Yu, who had no previous criminal record, were sentenced to 16 months in prison each. The female defendant, Kong Ka Man, will be sentenced at a later date pending the release of a drug rehab report. Animal Rights Group, the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, believes the heavy sentences will have a deterrent effect. Abusing animals in whatever way, shape or form is not going to be accepted by society. In another animal cruelty case, a 64-year-old man was sentenced to two months in prison at Tunmun Magistracy for poisoning stray dogs. The man left bits of chicken spiked with insecticide in Yun Long. Chief Secretary for Administration Carrie Lam has pledged authorities will carry out a thorough investigation into a break-in at the PLA barracks in Tamar by a group of activists last week. Speaking tonight, Lam stressed that what they did was illegal. She claimed the vast majority in Hong Kong opposed what they did. When asked whether the government had received instructions from Beijing, she said Hong Kong will follow up on the case according to the law. The activists were arrested and released on bail. They will have to report back to police later this month. Concerns tonight over the fallout from yesterday's pro-democracy rally, which exposed deep divisions between pro- and anti-Beijing groups and raises fears of future ten tensions between the two sides. Still, the police watchdog says the rally was the most orderly one in recent years. Stephanie Tui reports. A Chinese helicopter has now rescued all 52 passengers from a research ship that's been trapped in Antarctic ice since Christmas Eve. Video posted online by the expedition leader showed the helicopter carrying the second group of 12 passengers. The operation was delayed four days by bad weather. The helicopter carried the scientists and tourists to an Australian icebreaker. The vessel will now take the passengers to the Australian island state of Tasmania, a journey expected to last two weeks. The 22 crew members of the research ship will stay with their vessel, which is not in danger of sinking and has weeks worth of supplies on board. The new year is off to a hazy start in one American state and we're not talking about the weather. For the first time ever in the US, state-controlled marijuana stores are now open for business. James Aiken has more on Colorado's experiment with drugs. Staying in America, Bill de Blasio was formally inaugurated as New York City's 109th mayor yesterday. At the City Hall ceremony, he promised to take dead aim at closing the city's affordability gap. Alan Bookney reports. Closer to home, Manila bus hostage survivor Yik Xiu Ling was today discharged from a hospital in Taiwan after successful facial reconstruction surgery. Tian To reports. And in sports, former Manchester United striker Ole Gunnar Solskjaer Sol has been named the new manager of English Premier League strugglers Cardiff City. Meanwhile, his old club's hopes of retaining their title went up in smoke last night after they lost to Tottenham. As Tony Saban reports, it's between Chelsea, Man City and Arsenal. And tonight's winning Mark 6 numbers are 1, 36, 38, 43, 46, 49 and the extra number is 21.
finally the weather, cloudy in the morning but becoming fine later in the day. Temperatures will range between 16 and 21 degrees. That's all the news. Thanks for watching. Good night.